100 Minecraft builds in 100 minutes. Let the challenge begin. And this started like all good Minecraft worlds do, with a dirt hut. I even had a chance to add in a bed, a crafting bench, a furnace, it's got a sign, it's even got a bone milled roof. I mean, that's about as fancy as they come. But then, disaster struck. Technical difficulties on build number two. <laughs> Why am I in cinematic mode? Oh gosh. Why can I not click anything? My left click stopped working. <laughs> this is terrible. I don't know how it happened. I don't understand how, what could have even possibly caused such a strange bug to occur, but I managed to rebind my toggle cinematic mode key to my left click key. How did I do that? What key bind did I press that caused this? <laughs> This completely threw off my flow. I was suddenly incredibly perplexed. I was sweating from the armpits really badly and also on my forehead. And it caused me to build a rather bad swimming pool and then an even more disastrous toilet. I was rattled. I didn't expect us to get to this stage so soon. All I could think to do is construct a big cry for help. Hopefully getting it out into the world would cause it to leave my brain and I would get back into the rhythm. That's good, that, this one's a masterpiece. And by Jove did it work. I built up a rather lovely little campfire area, which honestly, I actually want to live in. I would like to spend my time here. And then a slightly strange looking statue, but it does look visually interesting. <laughs> What is this? Oh god. <laughs> then came the 2 by one piston door, which went incredibly smoothly up until the point where I almost forgot to give it an input. So I thought I'd leave redstone behind and do a little bit of art, which art is subjective. I'd say I did a pretty good job. And then it was a mushroom biome to finish the first 10. In summary, that was an experience. So let's do the next 10. Things were coming together. The builds were beginning to flow out of me. The first thing I built was a waterfall and it looked rather lovely. And then I got the hobbit hole, which despite being a fairly ambitious build to construct in one minute, I just about managed to pull off. Please don't look at the back. Next came the wave. I've never even thought to build a wave in Minecraft. It's so curious what comes out of your brain when you put yourself in situations like this. There was a brief panic in my cherry garden where I forgot the name of pink petals. What are they called? What are the flowers called? Oh gosh. No, I forgot what the flowers are called. But thankfully I still managed to complete the construction and fix that issue in the next tile, which just looks so much more peaceful and so much more tranquil. Following that, we've got the evil portal and then a very broken and just completely malfunctioning redstone contraption. <laughs> what is this? I mean, there's something there. There's something. <laughs> there's something. It's, it's kind of a hidden staircase. <laughs> Despite being mildly flustered, I managed to get it together to build a cool looking lamppost, then a baby storage system, and finally, a really nice shooting range. I mean, I love all of the details in this thing. That one's pretty well thought out. My cheat code for knowing how to place the blocks is to tell the story of the build. You know, this is my little archery section. This area is worn out from people walking back and forth. This area is overgrown because people don't go out there. We've got the line. You know, it, it has has the full story. With this new strategy, I was feeling confident. And I start the next set of 10 on a high, a ski slope that looks absolutely fantastic, an outdoor bedding area complete with canopy and hanging lights, a set of evil chickens. I mean, where on earth does that come from? Each build I make, I'm telling a story of how they came to be. We've got a little coal factory and there's coal all over the floor and then a stockpile of coal with some furnaces things do begin to fall apart with the shulker box one but it's fine because then I construct the art gallery and then the elevator although I do run out of time a little bit and have to build the directional keys out of bricks which is a bit strange. <laughs> they got brick buttons. <laughs> the aquarium is a tiny bit dull looking but I make up for it with a metaphorical piece of art that really makes you question your life choices but then then it all began to fall apart. <laughs> No way. That is the worst thing I've ever built. How did we go from beautiful ski slopes and, and lovely outdoor bedding, the evil chickens, to whatever this is? Oh, that's gonna keep me up at night. There was trouble in paradise. My strategy was no longer working and I was floundering. I didn't know what to do. Builds were not coming easily and I was wasting so much time at the start of each tile working out exactly what I wanted to do. My 1960s rock band was potentially my worst creation yet and it quickly was followed by a failed redstone contraption in which I had to break my own rules to get it working again and it still didn't fully work. Kelp storage and parrot parkour was a brief return to form, but I felt like all I could do was scream. Yeah, that sums, <laughs> that sums things up. And the next 10 were no better. Each build felt like it was getting harder and harder. I reached new low points. Swiss cheese. 
a noise machine. I'm the only person in the world. I'm the only person that the noise machine is going to affect. As if I wasn't suffering enough. It wasn't looking good for me, and at this halfway point, I wasn't sure if I was going to make it to the end. I... <laughs> I'm not sure. My brain has become overwhelmed. Uh, nothing but sludge can come out and the next set of 10 got off to a shaky start. My flying machine wasn't exactly exciting looking and creeper on a rainbow carpet just looked absolutely horrendous and I wasn't being inspired by chairs around a tree anymore. However, my whole mentality changed when I built two plants in a boxing ring. For some reason, just the wackiness of that concept seemed to flip my brain over and it was back into the swing of things. Where, where else will my brain go in this absolute, just crazy world of idea formulation? Oh, a farm. Oh, I could build a little farm. This beautiful wheat farm was the first thing that came out of my newfound energy. Then there's the jumping armor stands, which I could watch all day long. Then we've got the broken nether portal, which is inspired by a vanilla Minecraft structure. The mossy outdoors Minecraft bar was a nice twist on the campfire theme. Then we've got a rocket. I mean, who doesn't like rockets? And then we have my face. I mean, who doesn't love my face? I was on a roll and I didn't want to disrupt this flow. So I decided to stop talking to myself, stick some of my favorite music on and commit to doing the next 30 back to back. And ideas were flying. Everything was coming together. I mean, sure, there were a few duds. There were some things in there that weren't particularly that great, but I didn't let them phase me and I just kept on placing the blocks. I was having fun. I was building robots. I was building metaphors. I mean, sure, I did build a brain that was on fire, referencing my own brain, but that's fine. Everything was going well because the next thing that I built was a house made by Green with no back, and I found that very funny. I had taken on a new mentality that even if it's going bad, it's still going well, and if something is ugly, at least it's interesting to look at, and if you can make a joke out of it, then that's all good fun. For example, this horrendous crying face that looks like it's watching a bunch of chickens dying, which I found absolutely hilarious at the time. It felt like I was actually vomiting out ideas. In fact, by this point, I actually had built some vomit. But as I scraped the bottom of the barrel further and further, just more gems kept coming out. Rock'em Sock'em Robots. We've got a jungle temple. We've got a crazy end crystal plinth. A skulk sensor musical device. A Greek temple. A don't eat cake trap. A band serenading a bunch of dead puffer fish. A bunch of witches around a cauldron. Old Minecraft broken dreams and old Minecraft nightmares. This is definitely my favorite set of 10 so far. All of them. All of them are really quite cool. I, I'm a big fan of every single build here. I'm chuffed to bits with all of these. I legitimately want to build this somewhere in my base. I'm also amazed at the depths of my brain that I'm having to go to to come up with some of these ideas. I haven't thought of this portal since I was about 12. So now it was time for the final 10. In one sense, my creative energy was depleted, having built 90 Minecraft ideas in quick succession. But in another sense, I had trained my brain to come up with ideas quickly. Old Goofbot was the first one that came to mind and it was a solid start. Then came the hot air balloon with Farming Villager, which genuinely I would love to build in some form of Minecraft base. The useless machine is always a favorite of mine and although this is quite a simple design, it's still just as satisfying. Disaster almost struck on my roller coaster build when I ran out of time to place in the minecart, but then I came up with a genius move of building a minecart launcher in the next tile across that saved the day. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is absolutely awesome. And for that incredible story arc, I clearly felt like you should subscribe. Nice. <laughs> the following build was a Minecraft redstone robot that I like to call Kenneth and sticking on the redstone theme, I thought it would be fun to build a fireworks display to celebrate me getting towards the end of this challenge. The only issue is it was ridiculously loud. In fact, it was so loud that I decided to build an ear that was bleeding. My second boost of energy was gradually depleting. I genuinely think if I had to build 10 more Minecraft ideas, I would have passed out. So I decided to build a bed surrounded by petals and go to sleep.